is there silver? There'd probably still be a couple of silver threads that you can mine if you really want to, but all the pickaxes that were here have been burnt up, so... Yeah, yeah, Should we I mean, take the rock with us? I, I would like to, but they're still too hot, I guess, for now. There's a couple of ones that you can pick up, like about an ounce and a half that you can pick up. Uh, I think we should take them with us, but be careful with them. If they are... What did I miss? Ghost truck. <laughs> okay. The ghost truckers. Uh, you missed <laughs> no. one of those uh, those <laughs> zombies earlier. You you missed. What did I miss? Rocks fell. Everybody died. <laughs> no, not oh. again. <laughs> Bad thing. So okay, let's head to the minus one then. Oh, you, okay. I guess yes. Who who does take the the rocks? I will take them. Okay, so you have about. In Let's say if you if you wait a couple of minutes, let's say you have two ounces of ghost ghost rock with you. I put Yay. them in the back, backpack. Okay. Let's make weapons with it. Um. So you can pretty much just use the um the elevator the same way that you did to come back down, and you climb up. You go to minus one. Uh, minus one has a little bit of a longer corridor that you can see um at this point i'm guessing you guys use you are using the lanterns again yeah yes okay so as you kind of uh go through this little corridor uh make notice checks for me everyone uh yeah sure nice notice 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 I'm blind again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this... between all of you kind of looking at this... Oh, Annie didn't roll yet. I think. Is Annie still here? Annie, are you okay? Sleeping in, in <laughs> fantasy grounds. Is she sleeping? Annie? Please. Oh, shit. Sorry. I had, I had my mic muted. Uh, oh, okay. And my headset. Uh, go for that again, because my <laughs> missus was talking to me. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's an make a notice check. A notice check. Yes. If this We're was real life, I had one. Uh, where is it? Where's notice? There it is. It's a minus one. No, it's just. Oh. Okay. Uh, so between oh. Abigail, Annie. And Mikamado and Bliss, so four of the five of you, pretty much. Uh, you kind of look through this initial part of the uh, minus one floor. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything moving here. It seems to be very quiet, and you kind of just end up in like a couple of these, um, a couple of these separate caves that also, again, seem to be mining operations here. There's a couple of pickaxes. Some of them still have like these little threads of silver. Um, through them. Um, and at this point, with an 11 Abigail, one of the things you would notice as you're, like, kind of going through this is you hear this, like, slight humming sound. Like, it's... Oh, shit. Sorry, told, that's uh, me. Yeah. I Just... told Mikamato about it, and then I go uh, towards the sun. Okay. Um, she, she hears the gods speaking to her. It's the spirits. So it's the spirits. Uh, oh. And actually, Annie with, would also hear this sound, actually, because with a, a nine, you'd also have gotten a raise. Uh, ah! Many, many, many dice. More dice. What happened? So, more. Apparently, Fantasy Grounds has like the the fun little um, uh, thing to just automatically roll sixty three d fours. Because I didn't click <laughs> shit. I'm not even touching my mouse. Um. So uh, Annie and Abigail, both of you, make an additional notice check for me. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> 
is that critical failure? That's a critical failure. Uh, I haven't seen this in this game. You've just gone deaf, basically. Pretty much Abigail just like, BAM! Walks into a wall. Uh, <laughs> uh, Annie, you, however, as you're kind of like looking through these, these caves and you're hearing this like slight humming sound, you notice that, you know, there's a couple of... There's this one area where there's a couple of bodies on the floor. A mm -hmm. couple of dead people seem to have been miners. Uh, they don't seem to move in this case. Um, oh no, they were miners. Yes, they were. Think uh, of the children. Uh, but you notice that the humming sound seems to be coming from an amulet that one of them is wearing. Hmm. Can I, like, investigate the amulet without touching it? Sure. Um, make... Hold on, I'm gonna quickly check. What check this would be? Smarts. No. Probably, but I'm thinking if I can say something more specific. Yeah, no, just, oh. just smarts. Just Maybe smarts occult, roll. if there's a sign on it or something? In in first like in the first thing it would be just smarts. So um with a five you notice it seems to have some degree of holy properties. Um, as if it's going to as if it's like some sort of it, it's connected to some sort of god or whatever. Um the humming sound seems to be not natural. Can I look to it? Sure. You see the same thing. Okay. Is there a symbol on it? Are nope. we all seeing the amulet? It's just a small the amulet. It seems to be like this small amulet, kind of made of uh, what you would at first glance suspect to be gold. Um, it doesn't seem to have a symbol on it. It just to to norm like if it wasn't gold you wouldn't possibly even have noticed it because it just seems to be like this small amulet um yeah it's just like hanging on a cord around his neck what happens it's lucky you... coin mm, sort of you could describe it like that yeah can i pick it up or does anyone else want to pick it up i need found it I don't know. Does anyone mm. else want to pick it up? I'll pick it up. Any? Okay. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Okay. You pick up the amulet, and it's a really strange sensation. It's not good or bad. It's just it feels strange. <clears throat> um, you get the strange feeling that this amulet is indeed infused with some sort of magic to an extent. Um, but it seems to, how do I say this? It seems to be balanced. That's the first word that kind of comes to your mind. Hmm. Yeah. What happened can I sell you? it? You can, cer <laughs> you, can, you can certainly try, yeah. Wait, what? Can I lick it? <laughs> sure, you turn into a zombie. <laughs> I mean, you like lick it, you get the same weird sensation. Okay. I told uh, Mikamato about it. Oh, can I, can I touch it? Sure. You get the same sensation. <laughs> I get the sensation? Wow, that's the first time that I get the sensation from anything holy that wasn't the devil. Does it make good coffee? I know that's Senseo. That's Senseo. <laughs> yeah. Does it feel... Does it feel... Like um, my arcane background or another? Or... It doesn't feel like any... Like... It doesn't really feel like... An, it, it, to be fair, it would feel like, like holy magic to an extent. So maybe it would be more like towards your um, arcane knowledge than, than anyone else's. But it's not like... You know, how do I when say this? Abigail says it to me. I say, um, well, it didn't protect these people, so I'm, I'm, I don't think it will do much for us. 
Can I make a faith roll to sure. sense more than its balance? Sure, go for it. Is, are there wounds or something on on the 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 bodies of the miners? Uh, no, they don't seem to have any wounds. It's just like they they just they died. seem to have died here, maybe because of something like smoke or or whatever. But Gas you don't really know. Whatever. Yeah, something money? like that. Uh, there is not no. Hmm. Um, usually you don't get paid while in the mine. Um, bless with an eight. Um, you get the feeling that this, as I said, is, it has something to do with balance. And then you kind of start thinking about this in terms of, like, balance of luck. Um, pretty much, because you had a raise, I'm going to tell you what happens if you would put on the amulet. Uh, the amulet works as a source of three bennies. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. But every single time you spend one of those bennies... You also give a Benny to me. Ooh. Nice. I don't yeah. like okay. that one. I <laughs> tell the effect to Annie and say that we should not sell it. Okay. No, because imagine if one of the NPCs starts using this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we should give, the bad, we should give it to the big bad guy he uses it and we all get a benny that's not oh, yeah. how that works nice try uh, okay. but that's yeah, not yeah. how that works <laughs> oh no then the dm gets two bennies yeah give it to me <laughs> no i wouldn't do it like that i'd still <laughs> i'd probably give you guys like one shared benny if i use it against you something like that oh cool give okay me. so you can keep it any, or you can give it away if you want to. Since you found it. Mm, who can benefit from it the most? You. Frontliner. So soaking up damage with it is maybe a good idea. But, yeah. But, yeah. Just if you soak it. damage with it... Uh... I think every, everyone can use it the same, I think. Yeah. There's three bennies in there, so pretty much once you've expended the three bennies, it's gone. The magic would be gone. It would become just a normal oh, amulet. Yeah. Let's okay. draw cool. Strauss. I, I heard that's a thing you guys do. Uh... I, I, I always wanted to try that. What? Drawing Strauss? Drawing Strauss. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's in my I hand. Heard it, I my... heard it's fun. <laughs> it's in my hand, so they're my bennies, so yeah. And Sucks to be you said, guys. You just said you you. Okay, yeah, it's good. Cool. It's okay. <laughs> what's what's a Benny? What's a Benny? It's a, a guy. It? Um, it's a guy in the bro brothel. Uh, yeah, he has a, a he has a brother called Johnny. <laughs> Can I get a good Johnny? <laughs> sure. That means uh, that whenever you use the Johnny, you have to reroll and take the lowest. I thought he had a brother called Jerry's. Sure. So we should. We, we did our mission here. Uh, pretty much. I guess. I think you've looked through most of this mine. Maybe. No, the we are not. The floor that is collapsed. Floor. You can still go and look at the second floor, yeah? Sure. Yes. Let's go yes. to the second floor. Let's go look at some collapsed floor that's probably collapsed. And a floor. Maybe we can uncollapse it. Do someone has dynamite? No. No. I know someone, but he isn't here. <laughs> right? So, do we see anything on the second floor? On Another the second floor, you check? see a collapsed, uh, collapsed tunnel, pretty much. Okay, that's it. That's nice, nothing. Nice. If, if you want to try to clear it out, you can certainly try. Is there a small mm. hole or something to... Uh, not that you can see, in? no. <laughs> Put a fox, fox through, sure. Uh, the fox <laughs> is dead. dead. Oh, we could Don't bury him. About the fox. Um, you there... don't understand English. Is there any way to get back your, your fox, actually? Yeah, I have to roll a 1d4, and in so many days, 
I get another creature. Oh, okay, good to know. Um, yeah, I, I would like to try getting okay. some of the rubble away if and see if if it's worth it. How how much time would it take? That depends on your role, now, doesn't it? Yeah, but can I help him? Depending on my role, I want uh, I decide if I take the time fully or not. I guess. Sure. If I see it, it isn't going well, I just don't try it. And, okay. and so just make a, a strength roll. Mm, strength. I would like to go up to the first floor again, mm-hmm. to to the main floor, because I don't want to be in the collapse where the where the smoke is or rubble. Yeah, the first floor then. Six. Uh, with the six, you'll you're you're able to like start doing this, but from what you see, this is gonna take you a couple of hours. At okay. least. A couple of hours. Is Can I help him? Decent. Sure. Make another. Make a strength check. Abigail. Strength. Oh. Oh. Seven. <laughs> Pretty much, you can cut it down to like maybe two, th- three hours. Like where first it would have been like four or five. This is like you know two, three. It's still gonna take a little bit. Someone but... else has to help. <laughs> do do you really want to clear it out? Because we already did our mission to clear it out, all the living slash undead creatures. But maybe that is true. Maybe. Okay. Survivors behind that uh, collapse. Okay, I will try to help, but don't expect much from me. <laughs> oh, nice. Six. Like, you with the three of you, you can pretty much cut it down to an hour. You both ha- don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, the system is not logically. Logic. Dude, the same thing can happen in D&D. What are you complaining about? Yeah. <laughs> in D&D, it's even more likely because every number on your die is just as likely. I'm also complaining in D&D, so... It doesn't Point taken, but still. <laughs> so, uh, we take one hour? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's about an hour if you want to, like, kind of clear it out mostly and kind of make a small tunnel that you can pass through. So, okay. after after this hour... Um, you would be able to clear out most of it, or and make a decent tunnel that you can kind of sli- like half crawl, half stand through, so to speak. Uh, at which point you get to the other side and you get like a little bit of a larger piece of the um, uh, of the tunnel. Uh, also during the clearing out, you would have found about like two or three bodies that would have been buried underneath this uh, area. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you would have seen that there's been like another partial collapse uh, where there's another two or three people that were like apparently trying to do the same thing you were trying to do, who just then, you know, also died from it. And as you move further, you again get like this little cave uh, structure uh, where they've been mining. You get a couple of things. Um, so because Are the there- three of you were the first ones through, all three of you make notice checks for me. Okay. God damn it. Mm. Okay. So you kind of start looking around. You again find a couple of bodies, some of which seems to have, seem to have died from hunger, some of which seem to have died from additional wounds due to the collapse. Um, pretty much this, this thing collapsed and they weren't able to save everyone. That's the very basic premise of it. Um, Abigail, you, however, do notice... That because of that, there is one thing that, of course, never happens, which is the ores from this floor were never dragged out. And you see about, uh, like, um, you have, like, these little mining carts. About half of it's been full, filled with iron. Uh, sorry, not iron. Uh, silver ore. Ooh, I take it. <laughs> it, it that's going to be heavy. <laughs> I take five or something. Um, I would say this would be about, um, let's say, five hundred dollars worth of silver. Are we then stealing from? Technically, that's stealing from that's our boss. Stealing. Everyone is dead. 
It's still <laughs> the mind from Mr. Burns. I... Okay, you get but, one too. <laughs> bring it to him, uh, so he because yeah, otherwise anyone who comes in here could steal it, right? So we can just bring it, and maybe he gives us a bonus. Okay, but we bring it to him. Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay, and then he decides what he does with it. I don't care about those shiny stones you all like and those. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we take five hundred dollars of silver ores with us. Okay. To uh, give to Mister Burns specifically. <laughs> I'm gonna be the, uh, friendly for a second, and <clears throat> to this, because the yeah. three of you cleared out the middle cave. Woo. Oh. Did we get the Ben? Yeah. Yay! Nice. I'm clearing this place out. Nice. Um, we went uh, above and beyond. Exactly. Okay, so um, what are you doing? So you're taking, like, I'm guessing you're kind of dividing these these ores between you. Uh, no. I'll find it. My ores. Yeah, but <laughs> you can't carry it Yeah, all. you can't carry all of it. I and, take and five. What? Uh, explicitly says to you, we bring it to Mr. Burns, so they are not your oars. <laughs> I respond of that with that. I say, Leah. Uh, I don't care, Leah. Uh, <laughs> uh, starting uh, to think I, I can't do Indian also. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is that me? Is that me? Of oh, well, yeah. Dennis, yeah, that we think. Yeah. Then Dennis, yes. Oh yes, no, yes. he's starting to speak a whistle <laughs> again. <laughs> oh my god. Could you tell Miss <laughs> Abigail that I will tell Mr. Burnt that she has five of his oars because stealing is unacceptable. I tell her. I respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> Please translate. <laughs> Please translate. <laughs> Minisa uh, Abigail. <laughs> Minisa Abigail. Yeah, and now what, what does that mean? <laughs> Minisa means money. Money for Abigail. Hola. Um yeah, um Bliss, I guess sh- she wants the money. She's. I warned her. I warned her. Yeah. Yeah. I told her. I've. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, no, it's please, okay. Please get your holy symbol. Take your time, So let's go back to the town. I think. Yeah. Or how late is it actually? Uh, it's getting. Uh, wait, you guys would have arrived here around. Yeah, it would be getting like to to six p.m. something like that. Okay. So, so not like late. Cannot, like, you can still wait, you can still travel a couple of hours, but I get another penny. Yay! I, I ask Abigail. Um, shouldn't you? Um, uh, aren't the the the, sh- the gods of of us? Um, Against greediness and hoarding, I respond an Indian. <laughs> I don't have a translate for that. But okay, and what's, just what's... gonna say it in English. I'm gonna say it in English. Uh, I don't follow the gods. I follow the spirits. Okay, and the spirits like silver. Spirits like us, everyone, everything. Okay. Fuck, I find that such a nice answer. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Another baby! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm, uh, this is like a one time thing, but I really do like that answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gonna note that. that. <laughs> um, so, do we want to 
take a bit of the ride back already or do we stay for another night around the mine? Too late is it? What, what is it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's like, like, it's like getting to 6 p.m. pretty much. So you still have a couple of hours that you can like drive if you want to. Or yeah. ride if you want to, sorry. Yeah. I prefer scorpions over zombies. And we at least have one uh, stop to do, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So if you'd like leave here in the in the morning, you'd probably actually still have to do a, uh, a stop in in the evening at some point, like right outside of Stonefield. And if we now do an, uh, a few hours already, before... then you'll probably just have to stop, and then you'll be able to get to Stonefield at around <laughs> six, seven uh, in the evening. That sounds. Uh, I I feel better in in nature. So pretty but... much like if it's it's about a day's travel. So if you don't leave today, you're auto you're still gonna have to do it a, 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 a night in uh, on on the on the trail, so to speak. I tell everyone that I I I feel better in nature. Not not okay. Then we do some. Yeah, we go for a few hours. All right, traveling today. Cool. So you guys can Wait. find your way out of the. Uh... Uh, in the way to here, did I see in a few hours of here a decent camping spot? Can I remember one of those? I would say you being a Native American and and having some experience that yes, you can probably find something that that like you know. Um, so what, I, what... I still remember, yeah, that was a good place we could. Like, what would you specifically be be like looking for at that point? Something with cover, just like a couple of like branches, there, like. If, if there's water, there's water, but indeed, if there's cover, uh, like either a, a small alcove or uh, or or something of, you could probably of, find like a small cave in or like a small cave like a little bit or, back or some, just something like that together or whatever something where i can that we can nestle down yeah. and at least have one of our sides covered against yeah. wind or whatever sure it's fine you can you can probably remember that with your experience yeah my survival yeah you don't even have to roll you just you can find it um, okay, so you guys are leaving then? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Yep. So you guys go back up. Uh, I'm not going to ask for the figure rolls. It's fine. Um, at this point, the smoke has started dissipating a little bit. Um, I take my fox with me, by the way. <laughs> you take your dead f fox with you? Okay. Sure. Yeah, I have to bury the fox him. Fox corpse. Yes. Okay, so you take it with you. Get yeah. back up. Get out of the mine easily enough. Uh, your horses are still there. Thank God. Because the percentile roll at the end of the last session was to see whether or not those three would try to steal them back. <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> They're too scared of you. Are there more, more horses than we came with? Nope. Just the ones you have. They didn't have horses. No, nope, they did not. Okay. Um, so pretty much you... Uh, you can use your horses, drive for a couple of hours, and find the campsite that uh, Mikamato points out to you guys. Uh, which is like, you know, a little bit of a small... Um, how do I put this? Like, it's almost like a couple of hills that are like based next to each other and you can kind of put yourself inside the hole, sort of. Uh, giving you a little bit of cover, giving you like, you can kind of look over, see if something would approach. Make a fire. Yeah, sure. You can uh, do that. Survival or just... I mean, I'm assuming that you can turn on a fire, to be fair. <laughs> can I search for a, a good spot to bury my... Uh, Make a notice roll. <clears throat> you find, like, this one very nice tree... Uh, that seems to be in, like, the leaves seem to have colored in kind of like the similar uh, colors to your fox. Mm -hmm. um, and you get the sense that your fox would be very happy being buried here. Okay, I buried him there. Okay. Do I see signs of wildlife? Like, uh, there's probably a couple of scorpions again. <laughs> <laughs> or, or 
tracks of bunnies or rodents or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you would probably like find a couple of like small rabbit holes and stuff like that. I, I try to lay a snare there. Okay, make a survival check this time. Eleven, you can get a decent meal for everybody, like All right. with the snares. I have I have some bacon. <laughs> We can make a uh, score score bacon again. <laughs> oh God! No, uh, <laughs> there for for bunnies. But yeah, scorpions. Scorpions too. Much. Combination of the two. Scorpions and bunnies, everyone. All right. Um, so you guys yummy. do get a a pretty nice meal. Um, what do is I have the... to roll for? Roll for what? For my new creature. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. You know better how that edge works than I do. In one day, oh, I have a new creature. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the moment you get back to Stonefield, you'll get back your fox, let's say that. Okay. I was hoping it would explode into 14 or something. <laughs> 14 I think that's like... Yeah, that one doesn't know. explode. No. The... Not all dies explode. Okay. Um, Before... Before we go to the next day, um, what is the uh, like keeping watch uh, thingy, or who's keeping watch when? Let me put it like I'll that. I'll go first. Uh, I'm gonna check if I still have the ones from last time, but I don't know. Yes, I would I like to take our. I won't like to take the first. So Five the, and six. So the previous time it was Abigail one and two, Annie two, uh, three ah. and four, Mikamato uh, five and six, and Blaze and Bliss seven and eight. I'll do three and four again. I would I like to do five and again. six instead of seven and eight. Okay. Can I blind to to dig a small um, uh, groove in a circle around us so the Scorpius fall into that and can't climb up? Sure. So they can't get to us sure. at night. Yeah, sure, it's fine. I, I I'm learning from my mistakes the last time. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> um, do you want to take watch at some point, Mikamoto, or what's left? Um, at this point, I have Abigail one and two, Annie three and four, Bliss five and six. Uh, seven and eight is still empty, and Blaze, uh, I don't know yet. I'm blind. Are you? Seven and eight. No, and eight. but I have a default motive. Okay. So you're just sleeping through the night then? Yeah, I wanna assist someone, but I wouldn't bet my money on, like, putting <laughs> me up. Okay, who do you wanna assist? I'll assist my brother. Okay. Good to know. So seven and eight is still open, Mikamado. Yeah, so Mikamado yeah, is at seven and eight. Yep. I'll take that, that slot. All right. So is there anything that should be done before we start camping? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> that? Okay. <laughs>